Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss membership operators and identity operators in Python. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last video. We discussed about a decimal number system and a binary number system and conversion from decimal to binary and binary to decimal. Types of the bitwise operators. What type of the values can we use with bitwise operators in Python? Principles for bitwise and or and exclusive or. Twist in bitwise not. Formulas to calculate bitwise left shift operator and bitwise right shift operator. If you haven't watched the previous video, please watch that the link is given in the description box. After watching this video, you will get the knowledge about these topics. What is the use of membership operators? Types of membership operators. Identity operators and its types. How identity operators works with mutable objects. Difference between is equal to operator and is operator. We started our discussion about the operators in lecture 12. In lecture 13, we covered relational operators and assignment operators. In lecture 14, we covered logical operators. We discussed about bitwise operators in the lecture 15. So, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the special operators. As part of the special operators, we are going to discuss about membership operators and identity operators. Let us start our discussion with membership operators. Membership operators are used to test membership in a sequence. The sequences are like string, list, tuple, set and dictionary in the python. Simply we can understand, we can check the given value is available or not in the given sequence. For that we use membership operators. There are two membership operators in python. Those are in operator and not in operator. Operator in returns true if the given value is available in the given sequence. Otherwise, it returns false. Not in. By the name itself, you can understand the nature of not in. Not in works in the opposite way of in operator. Not in operator returns true if the given value is not in the given sequence. Otherwise, it returns false. Very simple. In a dictionary, we can only test for the presence of key, not the values. The meaning is, if you want to check one value is available or not in the given dictionary, we can check for the presence of the keys, not for the values. Practically, I will show you this point. Let us implement the points what we covered as of now. In this example, we are implementing in operator, creating a variable and assigning the string constant python programming to the x. Here we are checking the character h is available in the x or not. If h is available in the x, that returns true. In this example, h is available in the x. So, it returns true. Now, coming to this case, I want to check the string python is available or not in the x. Obviously, we have the word python also. What you need to understand from this example is, we can check for a single character or we can check for a string also in the given object by using the in operator. Now, execute this. Now, you can observe true and true. Implementing not in operator, python not in x. The python is not available in the x that returns true, otherwise it returns false. Now, here the important point is, we have the string python where p is capital letter. But in the value, I have given the string value python, but in this case, p is lowercase. That is not available in the 
x so it returns true because if it is not available not in returns true and coming to this case i am using same string python with capital p so in this case that is available in the python but here we are using not in operator so it is available but we are checking for not availability so in this case it returns false now check one more case java not in x obviously it is true because java is not available in the x so it returns true run it now see true false true now this is the case where we are implementing membership operators with dictionaries we covered one point just now we can implement the membership operators with dictionaries for keys only observe this example that point will be clear this is my dictionary so this is how to create the dictionary here one is a key and a is a value of that key and so on so i want to check is one available in the dictionary y run it we are getting true because the key one is available in the dictionary y now come to this same example but in this case i want to check the availability of the value not key i want to check the a is available or not in the y run it we are getting false the reason is the membership operator we can implement for the keys in dictionary not for the values in the dictionary here a and b are the values 1 and 2 are the keys to check whether a particular key is available in the given dictionary or not for that only we can implement membership operator for the values we cannot implement membership operator next one is identity operators we can compare the address of objects using these operators we can compare the memory location of the objects by using these identity operators each and every object is identified with help of the memory location only these operators are used to check if two values or two variables refer to the same memory location or not python supports two types of the identity operators those are is operator and is not operator and very important point is what is the major purpose of the identity operators is we are going to compare the memory location of the objects but how to get the memory location of a particular object for that we use the predefined method id that returns identity of that particular object the identity operator is returns true if two variables points to the same object otherwise it returns false so is not identity operator returns false if two variables points to the same object otherwise it returns true this is important point when both objects have the same name and can be differentiated only using their memory location sometimes the two objects may have the same values but internally they may stored in the different memory locations we can identify that with help of the memory locations only let us see how the identity operator works internally let us take an example x assignment 5 y assignment 5 print x is y if these two variables refers to the same memory location this statement returns true that is the nature of the is operator the output of this program is true now let us try to understand what's happening internally when we write x assignment 5 in the memory a object is created as we discussed already in python everything is treated as objects the object phi is created in the memory let us take this is the memory location of this object now when we assign this object to the variable x the variable x referring to this memory location or you can say the variable x is giving the reference to this object phi why assignment phi when this is being executed the variable is giving the reference to the same object phi same object is referenced by the y variable also so what you need to understand from this example is here x and y these two variables are referring to the same memory location 
that is the reason when we are using is operator it returns true here x and y refers to the same memory location the memory location is nothing but object phi's memory location now see we have one more case let us take one list already we discussed how to create a list list 1 and list 2 we have two lists now i want to implement identity operator is list 1 is list 2 here you can observe we have the same values 1 2 3 1 2 3 you may guess that this may returns true but actually it returns false take one more case i have two lists list 1 list 2 with the same values 1 2 3 1 2 3 now what is the operator i am using here is is equal to operator the output of this program is true now by using these two programs you must understand that when we use is operator that compares the memory locations of these two objects so here list 1 and list 2 refers to the different memory locations even though the values are same that is the reason the statement returns false and coming to this is equal to operator is equal to operator compares only values not the identity in this example the values are same that is the reason is equal to operator returns true for mutable objects even though values are same those are created in the different memory locations internally is equal to operator compare only values whereas operator is compares memory locations of objects see this visualization you will get the clarity when we created a object that is list object 1 2 3 a memory is allocated for that list object internally. Let us say this is the identity of this object or memory location of this object. When we assign this object to list1, internally the variable list1 refers to this object. Whenever you are creating one more list, Python maintains separate memory location. When we assign this list2, the list2 variable refers to this. 1 2 3 that is the reason when we use is operator it returns false because list 1 and list 2 are not referring to the same memory location those are referring to the different memory locations let us implement the points regarding to the identity operators first i am implementing is operator x assignment 5 y assignment 5 i want to know x is 5 run it see we are getting true because x and y refers to the same memory location how can we know internally x and y referring to the same memory location as we discussed already we can use the predefined method id let us try to know the identity of these x and y i want to get the identity of x internally the x variable refers to the object phi that object have some memory location we can get that memory location with help of this id of x run it now observe the identity of x and y two are same that is the reason we are getting true here see one more example here we are using two variables and the objects are 20 20 but x has the integer value y has the string constant that may look same but x value is integer value y value is string value whenever you have the different data type values internally pvm maintains different memory locations to clarify that point i am trying to get the identity of x and y and i want to print the result of x is y run it now see now you can observe these two identities are different these two are different memory locations as these two are different memory locations we are getting false as the answer now coming to this we are working with the mutable objects i created two sets set 1 and set 2 in this example set 1 and set 2 have the same values now i want to implement in operator execute it now observe the output is false even though two sets have the same values set 1 refers to the different memory location set 2 refers to the different memory location 
see one more example i created two list and this is the content of list 1 and these are the values of the list 2 i want to check list 1 and list 2 are referring to the same memory location or different memory location run it false because this list 1 is referring to the one memory location and list 2 referring to the another memory location even though the values are same check your knowledge what you learned from this video what is the use of membership operators types of membership operators identity operators and its types how identity operators works with mutable objects difference between is equal to operator and is operator try to answer all these questions if you are not able to answer these questions or watch the video once again if this video is useful to you Please subscribe the channel, watch and share this. Thank you.